Hi everybody, my name is Finn and this is Cece. We just got back from a trip to Canada where we visited Pato Lake and we want to tell you all about it. Pato Lake is located on the Icefields Parkway. It can be kind of crowded at times, so your best bet to get parking is on a weekday. And once you find parking, you can head to the trail. It goes pretty steep on the way up. It's a 0.8 mile hike to this big viewpoint. It's kind of like a giant balcony overlooking this beautiful turquoise and wolf-shaped lake. It's pretty cool and unique. That viewpoint was pretty crowded, so we decided to hike up another 0.7 miles to the panoramic viewpoint. And that one was a lot better because there was a lot less people and it was just overall, like I think it was a better view because we were a little higher up. At that viewpoint, you also got a nice view of the glacier over to the left and then it funneled down into Pato Lake. And up there, I think that's the best view of seeing it as a wolf-shaped lake. Yeah, definitely. It was really cool. You could see like the whole river and everything flowing into the lake, which was awesome. And there was even a waterfall next to the glacier too, which was pretty cool. Pato Lake is one of the most famous lakes in Banff. And for that reason, it can be pretty touristy and crowded. If you're looking for similar views, there's plenty of other places around Banff and Yoho and the surrounding national parks that also have amazing views, but just a few less people. Yeah, I would recommend on the Icefields Parkway, you can stop at Bow Lake, and I think there's a couple others, and you can see it on the road and decide if you want to stop. Mm -hmm. And there's also Lake Louise, Moraine Lake, and Emerald Lake in Yoho, if you're looking for the same type of thing with less crowds. Although Lake Louise is pretty crowded too, but definitely worth it. Yeah, and make sure you download a map. We put together a little rating system to make it easy to understand if the trails are for you based on a couple factors. And those are popularity, difficulty, trail condition, ease of navigation, and then are the views worth it? So we have these five categories to help you decide if you want to plan your vacation with this trail included or not. So first off is popularity. It was very crowded. Even the parking lot was almost all the way full by the time we got there. Um, the trail was very crowded as well. It was basically like a road trying to get up to the first viewpoint. Like you had to go around people and like <laughs> wait in traffic basically. Yeah. So, so it was very crowded. I think it was mainly just because everybody was on like a skinny path. The other thing too is the parking lot is pretty big, whereas Lake Moraine or some of the other ones, they only let so many people in, so it really can't get that crowded. But with a big parking lot and a skinny path, it's pretty crowded. Mm -hmm. So for popularity, we decided to do a 10 out of 10 just because it was so crowded and like so compact. Our second category is difficulty, and this trail had a lot of different people on it, young and old and everyone in between. I would say it was pretty accessible for people to get up to the viewpoint. Yeah, I saw people in wheelchairs with their kids and strollers. Lots of different types of people could make it up there. It was 0.8 miles round trip to the first viewpoint. And if you wanted to continue to the panoramic viewpoint, it was a total of one and a half miles. So I would say it wasn't too difficult. If you want to see it, you're definitely going to be able to as long as you can find a parking spot. Our difficulty rating, I would say it was maybe a 2 out of 10. It was not difficult at all. The only reason is because it was a little bit steep in the beginning, so for some that could pose a bit of a challenge. The view is definitely worth it though. Next category is trail condition. It was completely paved to the first viewpoint, which is really nice, so it's obviously maintained very well. The next viewpoint, it was just like dirt and rocks, just like your normal hiking trail. And that was pretty easy too. There wasn't too much elevation. There's also no steep drop offs. It seemed very dangerous. So our trail condition rating for this trail is 10 out of 10. So our next category is ease of navigation. Uh, overall, it was very easy. Like the like we said earlier, the first trail is completely paved straight to the um, first viewpoint. So it's really easy to navigate that. Mm -hmm. And if you do somehow find yourself lost, there's plenty of signs everywhere pointing into different parking lot directions and just helping you get back to your car or get to the view if you need to. Everything's very well marked and since it's so populated, you can always ask someone for help. And like Finn yeah. said, there's a lot of signs. You can read about the lake, you can find where you want to go for a further viewpoint or if you want to go back to the car, everything is super easy to navigate. The only thing I would say is there's no internet there. 
So mm -hmm. if you need a map and you feel like that's necessary, make sure you download it while you have internet. So for the rating of this trail for ease of navigation, we're going to rate it 10 out of 10. Our final category is views. And, you know, this being one of the most popular lakes in the Banff area, I would say this is definitely a must see. There's a reason why it's so popular. You just have mm -hmm. to go and see what it's all about. On the way up, if you go past that first viewpoint up to the panoramic viewpoint, you get so many opportunities to see the lake as you're climbing up the trail. So I think the views from the top, from each viewpoint and on the trail is amazing. Yeah, I would say it's probably one of my favorite views of the whole entire trip. It was just amazing to see like the giant mountain, the glacier, plus the like world famous lake. Yeah, I would say that's a 10 out of 10 for yeah, us. <laughs> so overall, we really enjoyed this trail and we recommend it to anyone visiting the area. It's definitely a must see, especially if you're driving on the Icefields Parkway. Mm -hmm. Take lots of pictures. It's something to remember. Be sure to subscribe for more trail ratings. Thanks for watching.